Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, you guys know the deal on this channel, man. We must continue to stand up. We must continue to set the record straight. Put some respect on Michael Jordan. Stop the lies. Stop the narratives. Stop them from rewriting the history, y'all. You guys know the deal on this channel, man. And in this video, we're going to talk about how Michael Jordan dropped 42 points at Madison Square Garden, right, in his final game at MSG on the Chicago Bulls, and he did it with bloody feet. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Michael Jordan did it in bloody feet, man. We're going to talk about it in this video, and I once again, thank you guys, man, everyone across the world, everyone across the states has been supporting my channel, guys. I am truly humbled by all support, man, for real. Real recognize real. The real basketball fans are standing up, guys. We must continue to do this, man. We must continue. This is the revolution. We are pushing it right now. So once again, I want to thank everyone out there for support, man. It means a lot, guys. Shout out to everybody in the membership. Thank you for your continued support. Once again, guys, it means a lot for real, guys. I am truly, truly humbled. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So yes, guys, like I said, man, we're going to put some respect on Michael Jordan in this video. It'll be a brief video. But I want to talk about Michael Jordan in the last game that he played at Madison Square Garden on the Chicago Bulls. If you guys remember that game, Michael Jordan, right, and, and he wanted to pay homage to Madison Square Garden, right, because he thought that was going to be his last time playing at Madison Square Garden on the Chicago Bulls, right? That was his last time playing at Madison Square Garden on, uh, Madison Square Garden on the Bulls. So in honor of that moment, he went back to his original Air Jordan sneakers, right? The, the Air Jordan 1s, man. He went back to the originals, right? He broke them out of the out of the dust, right? He broke them out of the closet, dusted them off, and he wore those sneakers, right? And because they were an old pair of Michael Jordan sneakers, he said that his feet had grown since those sneakers, right? His feet were a different size now, but he still wore those sneakers, right? Because he wanted to honor Madison Square Garden. And it meant a lot to him, right, to wear the first Air Jordans. So during halftime, right, Michael Jordan was having a great game. But during halftime, Michael Jordan took his shoes off and said that his feet were bleeding. Bleeding, man. His socks were all bloody, he said, because the sneakers were so tight. But because he had a great game going, he did not want to take the sneakers off. He wanted to keep playing in them. And he finished with 42 points in that last game at Madison Square Garden. But what I want to focus on here is the mindset of Michael Jordan here, guys. Because once again, this is what I'm always trying to allude or highlight to you guys about Michael Jordan. The mindset of him. The determination. The grit. That's called grit, y'all. What he was pushing through. If anyone's ever worn shoes that are too small for your feet, then you know the kind of pain that you'll be in. You know, I remember when I was in boot camp, guys, right? You know, tell a quick story as it pertains to feet and, and having bloody feet. So I have very fat feet. My feet are very wide. You know, like I said, I'm half Italian. And my mother calls my feet grape stomping feet, right? Anybody who's Italian knows about that. That's how they used to make wine, right? They stomp on the grapes. They crush the grapes with their feet. So she used to call me a grape stomper because my feet were so fat, Right? But the problem for me growing up was sneakers oftentimes would be uncomfortable because of my feet and the width of my feet. So when I was in boot camp, you have to wear steel toe boots in boot camp, right? And you march everywhere. Everywhere you go, you're marching, guys. You're marching to lunch. You're marching here. You're marching there. You're going to drill. You're going, you're march everywhere. You're on your feet all day. And you're wearing these steel toe boots all the day long as you're marching. What ended up happening to me is because my feet were so fat is that my feet started to push against the metal of the steel toe, right? And it was just rubbing every day, day after day after day, minute after minute, hour after hour, the sides of my feet, it was just digging in, cutting into my feet, cutting into my feet because my feet were so wide, they were pushing out and rubbing into the metal that was in the steel toe. So after weeks and weeks of this, I've, I finally was like, man, my feet are bleeding now. The socks were bloody. And I was like, man, this is not good. So after all this, man, I went to somebody and I was like, listen, I can't do this any longer. I need to get some different kinds of boots. And when I showed them my foot, they, they were like, what are you wait? What were you waiting for? But once again, I didn't want to complain about it. I was in boot camp. I thought I would have gotten trouble for complaining about my boots. I thought they would have thrown me out of there or something. I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to be soft. 
So I dealt with it and completely almost sliced my pinky toe off. Dry, uh, like I said, drilling and marching everywhere with, with this metal grinding and slicing into my foot. This is similar to what Michael Jordan was dealing with if you're wearing shoes that are smaller than you and you're just they're just cutting into your feet, essentially. And that's what Michael Jordan was dealing with during that last performance at MSG, wearing those sneakers. And the man still managed to put up 42 points and put on, once again, another, you know, like I said, classic performance from Michael Jordan, another iconic performance from Michael Jordan, his last game at MS, uh, MSG with the Chicago Bulls in the Air Jordan 1s, dropping 42, and his feet are bleeding. This is the grit of a Michael Jordan. This is the grit that I'm talking to you guys about that a lot of players had back in the other eras, right? That's exactly what I'm talking about, right? Like I said, the man had a game going. He didn't even want to jinx the game because he wanted to win a true competitor. He was like, damn my feet. Let me keep playing. And then after the game, he said his socks were soaked in blood after the game. But they won the game. And he had, like I said, once again, <laughs> once again an iconic performance. That's Michael Jordan, y'all. This is why this man earned the respect of the people in Madison Square Garden. You know, sometimes people will comment in my videos and they'll say, oh, you know, I thought you're from New York. How are you a Michael Jordan fan? And I don't even I don't understand the question because how are you not a Michael Jordan fan if you grew up in the 90s watching the NBA? You can still root for your team, but be a fan of Michael Jordan. Everyone was a fan of Michael Jordan. And why was this? It wasn't just because of the flash on the court. It was because of the way that he carried himself. The honor, the class, the integrity, the respect he earned from the people. He earned that respect from the New York fans, right? Going out there, right? Like I said, honoring them, honoring Madison Square Garden by wearing those sneakers and then saying, damn my feet, I'm going to finish this game with these sneakers on because I'm having a good game and I don't want to jinx that. I'm trying to win. He's a true competitor. He's got the grit. He's got the heart. So shout out to Michael Jordan. I always just thought that was very interesting that Michael Jordan refused to take the sneakers off even though his feet are bleeding at halftime. Like just that's, that's crazy, man. I can only imagine. Like I said, think about the pain. You're trying to play basketball in sneakers that don't fit you. That's got to be painful. And not only are you playing or attempting to play, you're playing at a high level. So this, once again, goes to the greatness of Michael Jordan, the grit of Michael Jordan, the toughness, the determination of this man, the competitive fire. And once again, like I said, honoring Madison Square Garden, honoring the fans at MSG, honoring the game. Once again, Michael Jordan playing for a love of the game and again, a respect of the fans and a respect of the game. You guys know the deal. This is why we must continue to set the record straight here. Stop the lies and stop the narratives. I'll catch you guys on the next one.